3.2.7, we are going to differentiate our function 1 plus 2x on the top over 3 minus 4x on the bottom. Of course, we see a fraction. Of course, we are going to use the quotient rule for the derivative. This is how we are going to do it. Let us label the top as the red f function and the bottom as the red g function. This g is not the same as the original g. This is just my notation. And this is how you do it. Keep in mind, quotient and product, they are different. They are opposite of each other. So for the quotient rule, we are going to write down the g part first. So g is equal to 3 minus 4x. And I'm also going to write down the f on the side. f is the top part, 1 plus 2x. And once you write down these two functions separately, we are going to differentiate them separately. So the derivative of 3 is equal to 0. The derivative of negative 4x is equal to negative 4. And right here, take the derivative of f right here. Derivative of 1 is equal to 0. The derivative of 2x is equal to 2. And now we are ready with these ingredients that we just found. We are ready to build up our quotient rule for the derivative. So our original notation is going to be you know, g prime of x for the original derivative of this quotient. So here's the deal. You start off with a fraction, you are going to end up with a fraction as well. Draw the fraction bar. Get ready. And before we forget, let us square the denominator first. That's part of the quotient rule. So I'll take 3 minus 4x, put that in the parentheses, I will square that like this. And on the top, this is where you are going to use, right? This is um, the ingredients that you are going to use for the top part. You are going to take this and pair up with the two. You multiply them together, so you end up with 3 minus 4x in the parentheses and multiply that by 2. And for quotient rule, you are going to subtract, okay? You associate quotient with subtraction and addition with product. So you are going to subtract this pairing. You put parentheses first, so 1 plus 2x times negative 4. So I'm going to subtract parentheses 1 plus 2x times negative 4 like that. This is it. This is the only calculus part, and the rest is just going to be algebra. So for the rest is that I'm just going to multiply the two into the parentheses and then try to combine like terms as much as possible on the top. That will be it. So 2 times 3 is going to be 6, and 2 times negative 4x is going to be negative 8x. And I'm going to subtract. Let me just put parentheses right here. I'm going to subtract, all right? I'm going to multiply negative 4 with 1, which I'm going to get negative 4. Negative 4 times positive 2x is going to be negative ax. Put a parenthesis here, because you have to subtract, right? Subtract the second part like that. All right, take out the parenthesis now. This part doesn't really matter. The parenthesis doesn't matter. 6 minus 8x. But for the second part, minus minus becomes plus 4 minus minus becomes plus 8x. And here, as you can see, the minus 8x, positive 8x cancel out. So that's pretty much the regular algebra that you used to do, right? On the top, altogether, we just have 6 plus 4, which is 10 left. Over that as the denominator, 3 minus 4x squared. And this is it. This will be the answer.